just around the corner from Vancouver's two and a half million people is the coastal inlet of Howe Sound, known to the Scobish peoples as Atkatsum. It's a gift of geography that a place so wild still remains right next door to the huge metropolitan area of Vancouver. The Atkatsum Howe Sound inlet and surrounding lands are a complete watershed from ocean shore to mountaintop, still rich with wildlife and wild corners. But nonetheless, the whole region faces great challenges. The pressures from nearby Vancouver are showing everywhere. We are deep into a global climate crisis and the world's oceans are under stress. So as the world changes and warms, the hurdles that at Katsum House Sound faces grow rapidly steeper. Our coastal community needs all the information and tools available to shepherd this remarkable place through what already is a rapidly narrowing set of opportunities. In 2015, a group of local citizens realized these threats and saw that achieving a UNESCO Biosphere Region status for at Katsum Howe Sound could be the way to guide and protect their home place. What they knew of UNESCO biospheres inspired them. There were more than 700 UNESCO biospheres worldwide, 18 of which were in Canada. Biospheres are learning places for sustainable development, where ideas are tested for conserving biodiversity and cultural diversity, advancing sustainable economies, and supporting research, monitoring, education, and training. So starting in 2015, through countless conversations, gatherings, meetings, and discussions, a coalition of First Nations, local and regional governments, government agencies, along with local business groups and citizens, came to a consensus that a UNESCO Biosphere Region status would be the best way to guide at Katsum Howe Sound through the coming challenges. And to everyone's great joy, in September 2021, UNESCO agreed, and the at Katsum Howe Sound Biosphere became a reality. With this designation, UNESCO acknowledges the many strengths of Atkatsum Howe Sound, our rich biodiversity, our strong First Nations and settler communities, our progressive industries and businesses, that our local governments collaborate, the high quality of our citizen scientists who discovered our famous glass sponge reefs, the role at Katsum House Sound plays as an outdoor classroom, and that our community stands up for nature. All of this is to the great credit of the community of at Katsum House Sound. But given the challenges coming, we have to do even better, and the biosphere structure can help us get there. First of all, the biosphere better defines at Katsum House Sound by giving it boundaries. The biosphere includes all of Atkatsum House Sound, its islands, and the surrounding lands that drain into it, from seafloor to mountaintop. Also, the biosphere will help the community articulate a richer vision for what matters most. What does the community stand for? How will we reconcile our lives with the needs of nature? How do we build relationship between First Nations and settlers? Importantly, a biosphere provides tools and creates capacity to get us there. Its organization supports research, education, and training to promote innovation in our conservation and development efforts, a sort of learning lab for community best practices. And the biosphere can help bring us together to work towards a rich vision for ourselves and our coastal home.
As a community, we will need to innovate our way forward, to join together, to listen, to learn, to create, to build a new relationship between First Nations and settlers, to uncover a clearer vision of what is the right balance between people and nature, for the sake of this remarkable place, for our wild neighbors, and for ourselves.